Deep sea fishing is a lot of fun, and for those who have will enjoy this video. And for those who haven't, this would be a great video for you to watch. Have you ever gone deep sea fishing with a child, especially one who loves to fish? Well, here's one example of what you might expect on a boat just like the Ocean Princess. Hey, we're at Ocean City in Maryland. I saw horseshoe crabs, and I saw, even saw one crab. I looked very carefully. Come on, let's look. Today's adventure will provide insight of what it's like if you have never been on a boat like this. You see them? If you have been, look. then sit back Look and enjoy. Cool. We will show you how to catch That's black sea bass with information that. and comedy from the mates. And then we'll take our catch home and cook it up and show you an easy, delicious recipe, which we will post in the description below. You can handle it. Yeah. All right. I'm not sure who's familiar with our tackle or not, but in a minute, when Captain Victor says it's time to drop them down, when he says time to drop them, you want to put your thumb right on the spool, thumb right on the spool of line. You push that lever back and you let it go. Slow it down just a little bit with your thumb. You don't want to quite let that spool freewheel. You'll get a feel for that. You'll feel it bump when it hits the bottom. You push the lever forward and you're ready to go. And my father told me fishing was a jerk on one end of the line. Wait for a jerk on the other end of the line. <laughs> All right, guys. And everybody knows when you put the bait on, you chew it up before you put it on the hook. Yeah, you don't don't chew the flavor out. Just soften it a little bit. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. Don't do that. You want to taste? No, no. First person on the horn. On the horn. Oh, watch! Be careful. Be careful grabbing them in there. There's all kinds of hooks. Exactly. Yeah. Gotta be careful with that circle hook in there. Yeah, that's that's mine. That's mine. That's mine. I think we're gonna share this fish. I think that's mine. That might be mine. The judge says. sea bass. It was too small so we released it. But I'm so happy I still caught a sea bass. Sea bass. Sea bass. Like blue and stuff. It, it definitely improves your chances. That's for sure. All right. You're back in business there. Hey. Location? We're almost here. Still oh. looking around. Does he pick the locations? He does. These fish live near reefs, so we know where the reefs are, and he looks around, checks them out, sees what fish he sees. There's a reef down there, yeah. We can't see it. It's too far down. All right. There's good stuff. The good stuff. I like it. Sea bass like it too, I think. What is this? That is a rainbow clam snout. Yeah, 
catch any sea bass today? That's yeah. Got some. Somebody gave me one fish. So, we have five fish. Ah! Now let's see what else we can catch today with Travis. See ya! Hey guys, so we're here at our next spot. I forgot to tell you the limit. 15. We only got four. So, 11 more. So we can't catch any more. Wait, there's a limit. So I can, I, those four are mine. So we're gonna have 30 fish in there, okay? 15 per person. Let's see what we can catch here. Baby. Fish kiss. Unfortunately, we can't keep him right now because the season has closed. Did you see the, the feet? Yeah. Look at that. Oh my gosh! Wait, wait, wait. wait. Don't, yeah, don't touch him. Do I have a legal fish? I got a legal fish. Here we go. Face only a mother. Hey! I caught that! I caught that! I caught that! All right, we got to throw him back. Dude! That seems angry. Don't stop! Oh. <laughs> Conger eel. Conger eel. Conger. Oh, I like it. 
not elected. <laughs> Can you peep him? Or do you have to roll? No, nope, don't let him bite me. Are you going to release him? <laughs> I, unless somebody wants him. If we want him. I want him. We can take him. <laughs> And here is our catch for the day. We ended the day with a total of six keeper black sea bass in the cooler. And this one wanted just one more bite. Ah, stop! Our total time on the water was close to seven hours, with the first hour and a half heading out to the first reef. The trip back to the dock in Ocean City, Maryland, only took about 45 minutes. But really, the whole trip felt like it was over in the blink of an eye. The mates, Jeff and Matt, took a couple of photos of us with our catch before they cleaned the fish for a small charge per fish. They made quick work of it, as you can see here, and it was well worth it. Now, back in our kitchen, let's cook up these wonderful black sea bass fillets, as you see here. First, I took three tablespoons of Parmesan and Romano cheese, along with a cup of panko seasoned breadcrumbs. I added one tablespoon of Morton seasoning, which includes salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. Here I have combined all the ingredients in this bowl. Next, I rinsed the sea bass fillets that were filleted on the boat. I patted them dry, as you see here. It's important to remove any excess water from the fillets before the answer the hot oil. And for an extra kick, you can also add a bit of crushed red pepper. But feel free to modify the flavors to suit your preferences. Remember, cooking is more of an art than is a science. Afterward, I dredge the padded dry fillets in olive oil. Personally, I prefer to use either olive oil or avocado oil due to the higher smoke points as compared to vegetable oils. They also offer better flavor and healthier. Once covered in oil, allow the excess oil to drip off before coating the fillets in the panko mixture. I like to ensure even coverage for a nice light red crumb coating. When removing the fillets from the panko mixture, give them a light shake to remove any excess before placing them into the pan. Make sure the pan is ready with oil already heated to about 350 degrees. Extra virgin olive oil has a smoke point of about 350 degrees. Light olive oil has a smoke point of about 390 degrees. And avocado oil has a smoke point of about 480 degrees. Here the fillets have cooked for about four to five minutes before flipping them. Be cautious when turning the fillets in the hot oil. Let me know in the comments below how you prefer to cook your black sea bass. Here is another batch fried up and ready to be taken out after a total cook time of approximately seven minutes. For a side dish, we prepared some collard greens. We started by giving them a thorough rinse to ensure all the dirt was removed. Then we peeled several cloves of garlic and crushed them before adding them to another warm pan with melted butter. And we cooked the garlic until it was slightly brown. Next, we added the collard greens to the pan. Initially, they take up a lot of space, but cook down very quickly, as you see here. As a final touch, we added some sun-dried tomatoes towards the end of the cooking process and let the greens simmer as the stems take a bit longer to fully cook. 
The sun-dried tomatoes give it some nice color and a great flavor. Feel free to pair the sea bass with any vegetable combination of your choosing. This is what we had on hand and it looked really nice. And besides, the black sea bass is truly the star of the plate. And finally, we plated the fish with a side of freshly cooked jasmine rice as we always have a pot of rice cooking in our house. I hope you enjoyed this fishing trip and our recipe. And let us know your thoughts in the comments below on our trip, our recipe, and on our video. And we hope to see you again soon.